be free of this heart. Happy Women's Day. Thank you and same to you. Same to you. Happy Women's Day. Around. Thank you and same to you. Thank you. So we are about to ask you a little. Like are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Let's forget yeah. about yeah. tomorrow. A father is about to bring his son to a job interview, applying for a position at a large stock broker's company in the city. Just as they arrive at the company's parking lot, the son's phone rings. He, look, he looks at his father, who says, go ahead, answer it. The caller is a trading company CEO, who says, good luck son, you have got this. The son ends the call and once again looks at his father who is still next to him in their car. How is this possible? I don't know, I'm not getting anything. Well, yeah, it might be the pre-recorded one. His father who is the uh, CEO of that company. But he's sitting right next to him, how can he call? The caller says, good luck son, you have got this. Whose call is this? From the trading company's CEO. The caller says, good luck son. Oh, that is the dad's call then. Maybe. Dad is sitting next to him. Yeah, uh, no. Uh, any other guesses? The caller is the trading company CEO who says, Good luck, son, you have got this. The father says? The father is sitting right next to the son. Whose call did the son get? His mother's call? His mother's. Uh, I didn't recognize this, uh, maybe because of the gender bias, because uh, as per our perception, we think that a uh, CEO of a big company or so is a uh, male. So yeah, I didn't get the answer in one go. Though I'm a feminist, when it comes to a person sitting at a higher position, I assume it to be a male. As soon as we hear the conversation that the CEO was uh, telling the son that or wishing him all the best, so the first image which comes in our mind is of a man. So I think the first and the foremost thing a man should do, and not just not just for the sake of feminism, but also in general daily practice, is to respect a woman. Whenever a woman is uh, is given any uh, step up because of the minority issues, they should not they should not be the first one to to pull back or to say something wrong about it. I think the credibility of of a woman should always go hand in hand with the respect she should be given. Uh, I think men should first of all normalize the conversations on taboo topics like periods and all. Like this is a damn normal thing which every girl and every woman face but still we are not comfortable to talk about it with every man or ev any person like around and uh, it feels so great when whenever we, when we have any person in our family whom we can talk like I do have but generally girls or the women in the family they don't and we should normalize the, this thing. Yeah. When we go by the definition of a gentleman, we say that the person who makes the things easy for women, right? Like uh, helping them at the table by pulling out the chair or opening the doors of the cars. So uh, that is the attitude which we follow in our society, that gentleman is the one who makes the things easy for women. But I think that uh, what men should do on their part is to uh, make women more independent that uh, so that they can do all the things by themselves they stand for themselves they speak for themselves and do everything what a man does